solving the powertrain puzzle. This was the motto of the 10th Scheffler Symposium, which took place in Baden-Baden recently. Following in the tradition of previous symposia, Scheffler presented evolutionary technologies on the one hand and put radical innovations up for discussion on the other. The spectrum ranged from an electric wheel hub drive all the way through to hybrid concepts for 48 volt onboard power supply and transmission concepts with power splitting. 810 invited guests, including numerous experts from the development departments in the automotive industry, as well as from science and research, gained valuable insights into innovations and technologies in the engine, transmission and chassis areas. Maria Elisabeth Scheffler opened the two-day event, emphasizing the importance of the symposium as a platform for the presentation of innovations and for exchanges between developers and customers. The symposium was a significant indicator of the Scheffler Group's potential and performance capability, she said. There will be a paradigm shift in the automotive industry, said Professor Peter Gutzmer at the beginning of the event. Issues such as an increasing efficiency and advancing electrification of the powertrain, fully automatic and semi-automatic driving, as well as integration and information networks will define the automotive future. In addition, the variety of solutions available worldwide will become increasingly more complex. Mobility patterns will also change rapidly. Powertrains based on internal combustion engines will still dominate for a very long time and demonstrate new strengths in combination with hybrid drives. Moreover, transmissions will gain in importance as the link between the internal combustion engine and electric motor. As one of the many solutions for future powertrains based on internal combustion engines, Scheffler showed its continually refined centrifugal pendulum type absorber. It allows for significantly lower speeds and thus clearly reduced fuel consumption with increased driving comfort. Luke engineers showed that clutches and clutch release systems still offer rich potential for further developments despite over 100 years of development history, and Scheffler will not fail to tap into this potential. This also goes for variable valve train systems. These are a central element for increasing the efficiency of modern internal combustion engines. Furthermore, Scheffler also offers customized drive and transmission solutions for the increasing number of plug-in hybrid vehicles, which are equipped with both internal combustion engines and electric motors. Worldwide firsts are a drive integrated into the transmission with power splitting and a range extender transmission. A circuit prepared on the premises of the Luke Driving Center offered the guests the opportunity to test for themselves the performance of the innovative drive solutions under realistic conditions. The feedback was great, as was the hospitality for the guests. Without doubt, the most conspicuous eye-catcher of the roughly 100 exhibits was the attractively designed Audi TT Scheffler System 48 Bolt. It served to demonstrate that more economical and efficient systems for hybridization can be produced with electric drives based on 48 volt system voltage. And in the area of chassis systems, Scheffler is driving forward the replacement of hydraulic chassis control with electromechanical systems. These include roll stabilization, ride height control, track and camber angle adjustment as well as active damping, all of which are electromechanical systems. The modules and systems are based on a modular concept. This offers Scheffler customers maximum flexibility and a unique range of customized products for the efficient mobility of the future. Here are some customer comments we overheard. I have come to the symposium especially to take a close look at Scheffler's new technologies and to get to know my contacts personally. At AMG I'm responsible for engine calculation, which means that I am concerned with a wide range of different components and assemblies. Therefore it is impressive for me to see the broad spectrum of solutions Scheffler can offer. These include very interesting answers for issues that will affect us in the coming years. I took part in the last symposium, so this is my second time here. We're undertaking joint projects with Scheffler and have developed various solutions to volume production maturity. We're currently working on a new engine generation and I've seen a couple of highly interesting presentations. I'll take suggestions back home with me that go even beyond what we're working on together every day. The whole spirit here demonstrates how fresh, dynamic and creative this company is. I find this extremely exciting. Scheffler is one of the best suppliers we have and uh, every four years this uh, colloquium is very important for us to exchange and collect new ideas to prepare the future, uh, knowing that PSA is uh, one of the company who uh, started uh, the first stop and start system by Alternator and we know that uh, Scheffler has uh, innovation concerning this uh, um, system 
and uh, I'm here to uh, see what could be the future together. I just uh, go out from a presentation about uh, DCT actuation and so there is some interesting uh, ideas about cost reduction on DCT because it's a real challenge uh, for cost, uh, about cost, especially on the low end uh, DCT. So it was very interesting and we probably we need to, to, to go more deeply in this, uh, in this discussion on this, on this point. From the university's perspective, at the symposium I see many components on which my students undertook research and that are now used in various applications. Here I have the opportunity to get to know my students' mentors. Much of what I hear and see here could make its way directly into teaching.